and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we make a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for a more meaningful life. So, without further ado, let's show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. Last night, you never guessed who turned up. Oh yes, Sally and Jeff. Well, you never guess who's turned up. It's only Chili Jam Jeff and Sally. Oh yes. We've arrived at the same place at the same time. <laughs> Chili that. Jam Jeff, he's diversifying. Oh yeah, he's made a spicy apple sauce. A spicy apple really sauce. Green. Crack it open. Oh go. man, let's have a taste. That is good. That is good. Yeah, no, I like that. Is that froth? Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. delicious. It is brilliant that we've got someone to go up the Stoke Broom flight with this morning. It is still fairly early, 20 past eight. I've uh, managed to get some steps in already this morning and we're just going to do a couple of jobs and then we're going to set off early before it gets too hot. It's lovely and cool out there this morning. Glenn and Jeff up and ready and we'll get going soon. It's setting off. Only a very quick trip though because we're going to stop and use the boaters facilities just before the locks. Water is cascading over the locks, which means there's someone coming down. Because although the lock's full, it wasn't doing that earlier. It is absolutely cascading over the top. It's good to see so much water in in the flight though. All right, we'll just have a look, see who's coming down. There's definitely someone coming down. This is actually flooding. Flipping out. Let's see what's happening. So there's someone in the lock above. I'm just gonna let some excess water out because it is literally flooding. The lady's come down from, that's in the lock above. We're gonna have to let a bit more water out. You can't actually open the gates the other end because it's just overflowing. First lock, bit of drama. So that's those two boats out the lock and we are now ready for Glenn and Jeff to come in. I know there's drought conditions, but you wouldn't have known it here. It was like overflowing. And uh, it just took us a while to get the water managed so that we could open the gates so the boats could come in. So hopefully all the other locks are gonna be less dramatic. Right, here we go. We've got Glenn coming in, we've got Jeff coming in. Those two boats, they're on their way. In they come. Little teal. Oh, she's such a dinky boat. She really is. There we go. Like a dream. There's Jeff doing a bit of filming. This is a workout for the morning. Get our muscles going. There we go. It's always tough to get them going. Up they come, all paddles open. The people before have left that gate open for us, so that'd be a nice easy in. This should actually mean that all the locks are in our favour, but I don't want to speak too soon on that one. This one filling nicely. So, there's one gate open, so I think Glenn's going in and then he's going to move across. Well, Sally's on her way to open that other one. Lock number two. In comes Jeff. Glenn's trying to get Teal right over. Right in, there's another two boats coming down. Right, so two boats just come out of here. So this is in our favour, but she popped the paddle up because it was filling up already. Up to the next one, it's in our favour, but we just gotta let a bit of water out. Sally's gone up to the next lock just to let them know to leave the gates open because there's two coming out and there'll be two coming out of here once we've filled up. The gates are so leaky, literally, if they shut the gates, they fill up a little bit and then it's a bit of a pain. 
Here comes Jeff coming in. The sun is coming out now. It's feeling warm. Almost filled. This is our third lot. All right, let's drop these paddles. Then we'll be off to the next one. So two coming out, two coming in. It's like narrow boat ballet. I love it. Sally, what number is this? Three or four? <laughs> One, two. Oh, I don't know. We've lost count. There must, yeah. We've 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 completely lost count. Two or three or four? I think it's probably three. In comes credit limit. In comes teal. So we're swapping sides because this next pound is a long one. So Sally's going to jump on. I may walk because I'm trying to get my steps in. The thing I love about summer cruising is how busy the network is at locks and you get an opportunity to chat to others and help others through. It's one of my most favourite things. I know it's also the reason why a lot of people who live on boats year round don't like summer cruising but for me it's perfect. Just checking the paddles before we left this lock and it looks like this one's up a little bit so I'll just see if I can drop it. Right, just shut this, then walk up to the next one. Right, on we go. Hello to the person who's just shouted hello to me from a moored boat back there. So good morning to you. Sally's got a hat on. She's been sun safe. Oh, this one's in our favour too. We just need to empty a little bit from where it's leaking there this is our penultimate lock in they come little and large that's referring to the boats not to jeff and glenn farmers working hard in the fields this little flower bed built in 1910 just look at the size of this whopping plant can you see it wow it is a whopper glenn catching the sun on the back of his neck he needs a wide brimmed hat we've decided wow this pound is super low this is where all that water came from this is empty glenn coming under the bridges In comes Teal. So we've stopped for breakfast and it's a mighty fine breakfast this one. Right, we're heading back to the boat now after a very delicious breakfast and we're gonna go through the tunnel. <laughs> Right, before we go through the tunnel, what we got to do, check the light. The light, yes, that's working. So off we go. I'm looking forward to the cool tunnel ahead. It's busy down here today. All the boats trying to get in the shade. Some baby ducks, not so little anymore. Turn the lights on open the curtains ready to go through the tunnel it's the wind in hull at stoke Bruin. yeah we've turned there a few times nice good it's a good wind in hull that one lots of room this little boat won't need a wind in hull like that look at that it's absolutely gorgeous so blissworth tunnel opened in march 1805 average travel time 25 minutes oh i just can't wait to that cool air so we're in the tunnel it looks like two boats ahead but no one was jeff hello the tunnel's busy this morning there's i think 
two more coming down yeah so slow and steady there is no water pouring down the ventilation shaft just the odd drip we're approaching the entrance you can feel the warm air already and we're out we've been going for i don't know it feels like hours it's probably only about an hour and a half whoa it is such a warm day mr warner is actually melting on the back he's got an umbrella out trying to keep cool we shouldn't be too far from our stop at Bugbrook. Here's our mooring spot. I spy Mr Warner walking back from the sweet boat with a hefty bag of deliciousness there. I wonder what he's brought. See what you got Mr Warner. Oh yeah, delicious. Uh, More deliciousness, candy, yeah. Like oh yes. Oh, they look delicious. Oh no, it looks like there's a leak. We can't be doing with that. That is what you call a sandwich, Mr. Warner. It is. Good morning and welcome to Sunday, Mr. Warner. The plans are changing. We've heard that the South Fox is very low. We spoke to somebody the other day that was moored in property for eight years and there was quite a few times where they were stuck in or couldn't get back or um, and they've heard that it's, it's really, really low. They've had to change their uh, plans. So I said, oh, we're hoping to get to Banbury and they went, oh, I wouldn't think you'd be able to get to Banbury. So I was like, oh, bugger. So we ummed and we aahed and we thought, oh, God. We need to move these plans. Yeah, we got options. We got options. So we are actually going to spin the boat round and head back the way we came. We're going to be out for the rest of this week. And then do you know what's going on? I'm going to hot foot it down the caravan and we're going to have our summer cruise yeah. in the autumn. We've got the sea in Brixham and it's no sh there's no water shortage. <laughs> if, the sea, if the sea dries out, we're in trouble. I feel incredibly fortunate that we can just shift and change our plans like this so that's what we're doing we're spinning around we're heading back we're going to be at stoke room for the next couple of days glenn's got to go to work we knew that anyway he was going to go to work regardless, regardless. and then we've got a couple of things on at the end of the week so come on let's go right and we're off spinning round to go back to stoke room this garden is so beautiful. It's also a lot of fun. Look at that little boat, or is it? Is it a butty? No, I think it's a boat. It is the cutest thing. Sitting down here in the shade. Mr. Warner's got the umbrella up. The sun is hot, but it's not unbearably hot right now. Sneaky bake sandwich. Coming up to the Blissworth Junction. It's really starting to get hot now, so I'm looking forward to that tunnel again, that's for sure. Just done the washing up. It's never a chore when you've got this sort of view. We've been down that way many a time. Past the Mountbatten Crusader. This is a community boat. Glenn said when we came past it was open. So we 
we were just going through Blissworth <laughs> and we meet Jackie and Tony. These two idiots from Cornwall. From Cornwall. <laughs> and they thought they'd just have a little walk along the canal and they bump into <laughs> us. I don't know if that's lucky or not. But anyway, it is so lovely to see you. Yeah, I actually love the serendipity of meeting people that way because we weren't even going to come this way today. They weren't even going to stop off and yet we bump into each other. That is just lovely. Anyway, we're almost at the tunnel. I'm very hot and sweaty. I've just refilled our drinks bottles with some cold water out the fridge. And I'm looking forward to the being in that dark, cold tunnel. I have such a love for little boats. Just look at this one that we're passing. How cute is that? Love it. Here we go into the tunnel for the second time in two days. Oh, and instantly the coolness of the tunnel. Oh man, I could stay in here all day. Can we just go up and down, Glenn, in the tunnel? More yeah, more, more up in the tunnel. Yeah, oh, it's lovely and cool. We're coming up to the first ventilation shaft. Not drippy. Drippy. Afternoon. That was the trip boat and he's done this tunnel many times. We're coming up to another ventilation shaft. This one does look a bit drippy. Oh, oh. Whoa. And what I absolutely love about this bit of the tunnel is there's all the mineral deposits and the water that has dripped down in Glen's torch here so as we go through this bit can you see all the deposits I don't think you can probably make them out very clearly but it's fascinating we've got another boat coming when you look at this tunnel when you're just going along you think there's no way two boats are gonna fit through but they do this is the new bit of the tunnel it was replaced, I think, in the 1980s. What? Here we go. Oh, it is We've got a leaky ventilation job. The people on that boat were having a lot of fun. Look at this coming up here. There's some more here as well. So we've moored at the top of Stoke Brewer and Flight. It's busy. It's partially shaded. So hopefully the sun will disappear behind some trees soon and we'll be fully shaded. So since arriving at Stoke Bruin, Glenn nipped home. Done all the washing. Yeah, yeah. He's a man that can. That's what he is. Anyway, we are now strolling to the boat inn where we're going to meet Debbie, Glenn's sister, for something to eat. Good morning and welcome to Monday. We're both off to work. We're leaving the boat here for the day. Well, a little bit of a weather update. It's due to rain today 
everybody is so excited but it generally feels a lot cooler this morning so bring on the rain that's what i say right that is us finish work for the day i did lots of work today so i'm feeling quite pleased with myself i literally got my head down and did a lot of stuff while i was working our episode has been published on BBC iPlayer. It is available. I haven't watched it. I could have during lunchtime, but I didn't because I thought it'd be unfair to watch it without Glenn. I'm very excited about that. Glenn's got the iPad out. Let us. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. Oh my goodness. Here we go. So I just watched Game On Grandparents. Oh, if you get an opportunity, go and check it out. Made me smile all the way through. Anyway, I'm going for a walk now. I need to stretch my legs. I've been sitting down all day. There's two squirrels up there having a fight. Or at least playing tag. A couple more sculptures here. I like this walk, it's lovely canal is down there do you know it forecasts rain today but it's so humid what we need is a big storm i'm going to continue this way so this path is the tunnel path so i imagine it follows quite closely to the tunnel i'm not sure where to go from here because this isn't the other end of the tunnel oh Let's go this way. I actually know this road. It's off this road, which is where Chloe works. This takes us down towards where Glenn and I walked the other day. Do you remember, with the horses in the field? I definitely don't want to do that. Right, it says this way. Over we go. Let's just see where it takes us. That looks so beautiful. I love these rural paths. I have no idea where this footpath's going. Like in the middle of nowhere. Right, that's it. I'm going to walk back now. I don't know where this footpath's going. So come on, let's go. Oh, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. This field's got sunflowers going around the edge there. The tunnel footpath. I feel like I'm on familiar ground now. And here we are. The entrance to the tunnel. Back past the winding hole. Blue line canal carriers. As a celebration for my TV stardom. No, not for that at all. We just can't be bothered to cook. Mr. Warren's taking me out for dinner. So we're going to the Indian restaurant that's here, which is very lovely. But Glenn's just said, well, it's Monday. I wonder if they're open on a Monday. I was like, Glenn, don't say that. With a view of the locks as well. Dinner was delicious. Going for a little stroll, then back to the boat for a cup of tea. This is what you call a leaky lock. We just chatted to a family that were just coming through. That was their second ever lock. Teal is looking a bit filthy. Glen can't wait to clean her. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. It rained last night. I was laying in bed. I was wide awake. I was wide awake for most of the night and I heard the rain. It was just such a good sound. I'm off to work today with Glen. So that's Tuesday done. We're now going back to the boat. We've got to do seven locks to get down the bottom of the flight tonight. That's all right. So, I'm looking forward to it actually. I've been sat at my desk all day, so there's nothing I'd like I think more. It, I think it's more going to be will it run? Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, are, like you, are you worried the battery's no, going to no, be flat? Sort it out. Sort it out. All right. Okay. See you then. Here she is. Windless at the ready. Stoke Bruin is like a different place during the week. At the weekend, it's so busy. It has this lovely quiet feel during the week. Not sure what's going on down here. There's a boat on the lock landing, but sort of heading away from the lock. And there seems to be a bit of action around the lock. So anyway, let's go see. There is a boat coming down behind us, but I'm not sure if they're mooring. Here we go. We're in the lock. Two up, going down. We're at lock two. 
of our seven. Right, we've come through those first two locks with a boat. They're hoping to moor up does look a bit busy, so we'll wait for them, see if they get more in spot or not. Third lock inside. All those people are going to be so lucky there's a spot there for them to moor. Oh, they're going to be happy. Oh, what a sight to behold. The lock is in our favour. Da, 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 da. This is great. Should just push open. I need to get my bum into it. There we go. Mr. Warner's coming down. That's all working out lovely. There we go. All ready for Mr. Warner not much of a breeze but it's definitely cooler do you know what i've just felt a drop of rain in comes mr warner yeah the rain is welcome so the next lock is actually not in our favor there's a someone going through a lock down there not quite clear whether they're going up or down but because this pound's really full i'm hoping it will all fill that lock that we're going to next. Oh, my plan worked. Well, almost worked. It's three quarters full, which is better than nothing. Let's just finish it off. After this one, we've got two more to do. Then Mr. Warner says he's going to treat me to dinner at the navigation. That is only because I forgot to buy something from the co-op for dinner tonight. So not only is this lock in our favour, but the gates have been left open. So Mr. Warner can go straight in. We've got all sorts of red tape going on on this one and the one on, on the other side. It's really pouring now and guess what? I don't care. It's a refreshing shower. Do you know I like this lock flight? Never seems to take long. So here we are at the seventh one. <laughs> we got to capture that. That's Mr. Warner actually getting off and doing a lot. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday where you find us at the bottom of Stoke and Locks. And it rained last night. Lots and lots of rain. And guess what? None of our windows leaked, which is a good thing. We did. <laughs> but the chimney leaked, yes. There was water cascading down, like an indoor water feature. This stressed Mr. Warner muchly, and he's still going on about it this morning, even though it's not raining. That's a job for him to sort out. We know Mr. Warner loves getting to the bottom of uh, water leaks. Off to work we go again. For me, just a couple of hours this morning. For Glenn, all day. I'm getting my hair cut today. So excited so excited let's go do some work and then when we come back this evening we're going to move the boat to cosgrove there's a whole plan of how that's going to happen as in i'm going to take the car and walk back and all sorts but we don't need to worry about that until later this afternoon so come on let's go short walk up to the car it is so much cooler today this is an amazing pear tree look at that Right, I've left work. I've come to Newport Pagnell. I'm getting my hair cut. Oh, highlight of the week. Right, that is it. Haircut done. Nice and short, just the way I like it. Anyway, heading back to the office now. Got to pick up Glenn. Right, got Mr. Warner. Let's get back to the boat. I am off. I've got changed into my walking stuff. I'm going back to the car. Going to park at Cosgrove and then walk up to meet Mr. Warner. I'll see you in a bit. Come on, let's go. Right, back to the car. I'm at Cosgrove, got my headphones on, got an audio book to listen to. Let's start to walk back to meet Mr. Warner as he comes down from Stoke Bruin. I've spotted Mr. Warner. Right, Mr. Warner's picked me up. I'm going to make us a cup of tea, maybe a couple of ginger nut biscuits. Cup of tea and some biscuits. Heron looking to catch his dinner. Oh, did it? Oh, we got a little one as well. We're just coming into Cosgrove. Nice mooring spot, Mr. Warner, right next to the horse tunnel. So you know where we'll be heading this evening. Oh, all moored up. Right. Another night, another night of eating out. Through the horse tunnel and guess what? We still have forgotten a torch. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. Thursday's like my 
Saturday. So after Glen works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday feels like it's um, the weekend. We've now got to work Saturday. We have one lock and a few miles. And a few miles to do, which I am going to walk. Oh yeah, all of it. I'm going to try and walk all mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, Glen, I really need to up the walking game. Mm. Yeah, more and under a tree. That means just one thing. Well, it means a couple of things. Bird poo is one of them. Whoa, it is super busy this morning. Another boat at the lock as well. God, it's all going on. Cows over there coming down for a drink. Those cows are brave, aren't they? They're getting right in there. Right, that's that lock done. We came through with another boat, so. And they had crew as well, so it was like no work at all. Anyway, I'm walking, Mr. Warner's following. Oh, it's busy down here with more boats this morning. Lots and lots of boats. Look at the gorgeous graphics on this boat. That is beautiful. Over the Iron Trunk Aqueduct. Got the views down there. The river far below. I'm gonna keep on going. Not waiting for Mr. Warner. I don't know if you can see this little baby here. Very cute. Still no sign of Mr. Warner or the other boat that was in front of him. Look at these, these are a beauty. I'm just coming into Wolverton right now. Past the abandoned railway works. Oh, someone's been magnet fishing. And some more magnet fishing bit of an obstacle past the Bill Billings mural under the other pigeon bridge and out we go oh man just look at these just look at them it's like a bumper crop I'm just about to go over the aqueduct in Milton Keynes Great Linford, two miles. There's a little heron down here. It's the smallest one I've ever seen. Let's see how close we can get. It's doing some serious fishing. Oh, it caught a little one as well. Oh no, he dropped it. Gutted. Caught it and dropped it. Oh, is he going to go for it again? Is he? Go on. No. Yep. Thinking about it. No. Shows how shallow the canal is at the edges. Here's another heron. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one, but still quite small. Why do I always think herons are male? There must be female herons. Right, I'm at Great Linford. Not too far now. Oh my goodness! I was walking down the canal, almost back at the boat club, when I spotted that my friend Julianne, and I was so thirsty, I was like, oh Julianne, I'm so thirsty, she was like, have some water, have some water, anyway, we sat chatting, then Glenn's come along, we've just shown Julianne round the boat, we just round the corner from the boat club now, but anyway, for the last bit, I'm going to just whack the kettle on, make a cup of tea for Glenn, and uh, yeah, we're almost back. That's done at the boat for a couple of weeks. Off to the caravan next week. On our way home, stopping off to pick up our car that we left in Cosgrove. And then it'll be home for a fresh, fresh shower. Oh man, I need that. Mr. Warner dropped me off at my car. There's Mr. Warner. Right, off I go. I'm in. I'm gonna go and jump in the shower and make myself clean. Good evening to you. I'm all fresh and clean. Tonight for dinner, I'm, I'm excited to try a new recipe. Now this one is courtesy of Jamie Oliver and I've 
I've had to do a couple of modifications. I watched this program where Jamie Oliver cooked the curry and it looked delicious. He used ginger, some garlic, chilies, got that, and a bunch of spring onions. Now, admittedly, Jamie Oliver's spring onions didn't look in such a sorry state, but anyway, beggars can't be choosers. He also used natural yogurt. I haven't got any of that, but I do have some cream coconut, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna modify. He doesn't use any spices. No, no, no spices. He uses mango chutney. I am going to replicate said recipe. Oh, he also used prawns. I'm going to use chicken. I'm going to whip up a curry. I mean, it was super quick. Righty, I'm still not sure that these ingredients are going to make a curry, but let's see what happens. Well, the ginger, the garlic, the spring onions and the chilli certainly smell lovely but now da, 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 it's the time to add the magic ingredient righty couple of tablespoons oops, of mango chutney do you remember the mango chutney that shannon and rodney sent us it's got to be about a year ago that was delicious but anyway i bought this one from the zero waste shop i've never tried it before so hopefully it's a good one what i've got to do is i've got to whiz up half of it with about 150 mils of water but i've added some of that cream coconut into my water so i've taken half out i've added the chicken in i'm gonna stick that in the processor along with that all right and in the sauce goes. Right, let's give it a taste test. See what it tastes like. Well, I've got to say that was delicious. The easiest dinner I've ever made and very tasty too. Hello, good morning and welcome to Friday. Going for my gym induction today. Oh yes, I am. But I'm gonna get strong. Strong I am. Well, that's the plan. There's something about gyms that I find quite intimidating. I'm, I'm pushing through though. Everything in me that's saying oh don't go uh, just go for a nice walk i am gonna go for a nice walk to the gym have me induction and then come back and then have a lay down to recover no 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 not at all so mr warner where is he he's not working today he has gone to the office to do some bits and pieces and then he's taking the back end of my car off to fix me exhaust that's like hanging on by a thread the reason he's doing this is the car's coming up for its MOT. He's been saying for ages, must do that, must do that. And he did do a temporary fix with a bit of floristry wire, but it needs a permanent fix. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the gym. Let's do this. And then I can come back and get on with normal stuff. Here I am. Let's go. I feel well out of my comfort zone for this one. Well, that was all right. It was a little bit intimidating. The machines are intimidating. I keep thinking, don't be intimidated by machine, but they are quite intimidating. There's just like lots of knobs and pulleys and stuff. But anyway, that was all right. I'm looking forward to going back. So that's got to be a good thing. And I've got my personal trainer appointment booked in for Tuesday. Oh, hey up. A postcard to Yaya and Pappy. We're having the best time on holiday. Met a pirate and danced lots. Thanks See you me. soon, Layla and Oliver. Oh. So, today, I'm going to take this bumper off to see the full scope of what's going on with the, with the exhaust. I either need to replace it or weld it. So, I can't, but I can't really see from underneath, so I need to take the, the whole back of the car off. It's literally the whole back of the car. Let's do it. So you also have to take this bit off as well. So this, I've just unscrewed. Hang on, need two hands. Right, so, took the micro switch off. This bit is pretty much the whole back of the bumper. That comes, that's, so I've put a blanket down here, just in case that falls off and I don't catch it, so I don't scratch it. So this whole back should come off now. So that's 
what you have to do to get the back of a smart car off. All these bits here, when I say to get the back off, that's just to get to the exhaust. This is what the car looks like when you're done. And anyway, this is Lisa's exhaust. You can unbolt this bit to get it out of the way. And this is where it's rusty. And I'm just umming and ahhing whether I can fix that or not. But I do need to get that out because that is knackered. It's just whether I think that's going to weld or not. I'm not sure that's going to weld. And I'm not sure I'm going to get the Lambda sensors out. It could be a fact of buying a whole new exhaust, two new Lambda sensors. I know what I wanted to show you. I couldn't show you this before the episode went live. But look at this gorgeous photo the production team gave me. Got our first medals uh, on. Just wanted to show you that. I couldn't show it to you before because obviously you would have known I'd come first. We are off out this evening, eh? We are off to work. Not for work though. We are having a works do this evening. A little bit of a team building, getting together sort of thing. We've got some games, we've got some prizes, there's some food being organised. Oh, it's going to be a great night. So, come on, let's go. I don't know, in fact, I probably won't be able to film anything of this evening. But what I'll do is I'll pop back in when we're on our way home and tell you all about it. So, it's just before 11 o'clock, we've just got in. We've had a very lovely evening. Really, really lovely to spend some time with our work colleagues. Anyway, I feel really tired. I'm ready for bed. Got to get up early in the morning. So I'll see... No, I won't see you then. This is the end of the week's video. I was going to say I'll see you in the morning. So good night and see you next week. We was only out a week. It was the shortest summer cruise ever, I think. But anyway, we've put that on hold until October. With that on hold, we're setting off down the caravan next week. Very excited mm. about that. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll see you next week. Take Cheers. care. Bye. Bye.